happens if you die. You know, that's something to think about. Family and friends are often denied access, but a new law in Oregon may help change all that. Lisa Balick has more on this. She joins us live from the newsroom. What did you find out here, Lisa? Well, actually going into somebody else's account is against the law, but now Oregon has a new law that gives you a lot more access, makes it a lot easier, but with written permission. People assume it's never gonna happen to them. So you keep adding to your online life, family vacation pictures, banking details, bills, credit card information. But who can unlock all that when you die? Attorneys often hear the stories. My brother one time told me he had this life insurance policy or he had this um, retirement account or this investment per, um, portfolio. And, but we just don't know with who. But he, you know, he, everything always came through his email. Many online providers delete or freeze your account. It's in those terms of service agreements you check without reading. But Oregon's new law allows you to choose a personal representative or someone who has power of attorney or a trustee. You give them written legal authority while you're alive to access your accounts once you die. Acknowledge that you're mortal and that if your online accounts are important to you, if you want somebody to have access to all of those adorable pictures of your children and your cat playing the piano, if you want somebody to have access to not only your personal information but your financial information, then you have to do some planning. Some online providers are now offering limited ways to let you designate what happens to your accounts after you die. Google has an inactive account manager tab where you can designate someone who can access the account or you can indicate you want the account deleted. Gaining access to loved ones accounts is challenging but Oregon's new law will help. If something does happen to you now, it's gonna be so sudden and heart-wrenching for your loved ones as it is, don't you at least wanna make it a little bit easier? The first thing to do, get started. Get a notebook, write down your accounts, write down the passwords, have a hard copy of that. And don't forget to update those passwords. Also, go through your online accounts and take a look as we showed you some of them, what you can do to control the access for if something happens to you. One other thing, make a backup of your photos, of your important documents, make a backup that's on a CD, and let somebody know where that is at all times. And again, update that when you can. So have those hard copies with you, that helps. We have a lot more tips on coin.com. Yeah. Great information, good resolution for the new year. Lisa, thank you. Following up on that deadly highway